Okay, I'm going to explain a little bit more about how this cluster works. This is a TP-Link wireless router. It's been set up, runs on a battery. These uh, LiPo batteries will last for about 12 hours. They are quite nice. The only thing that we don't really like is this cable at the back, but that's still a work in progress. Now, here I have one of these little guys unplugged. So I'm going to plug them in, switch them on, and you will see roughly how long it takes for the network to come up. If you see there, a little LED light is switched on. Let me plug in these in the same way. Okay, so we have three. This is the third one here. And now uh, the fourth one. And what we've done with these is that as they start booting, the LEDs will, will indicate, but we'll actually have the lights showing. They'll flash once every second as they boot up, and they flash twice when they're ready. So that flashed. That one's going to flash soon. And the other two will flash. Ah, oh, there we are. So that's ready. And when they're ready, you'll see on top that there's a, a little rotating sequence on the LEDs. That's actually the Glard. 150 daemon doing the work. And that daemon is a Zyre application which connects to the Wi-Fi network, finds other nodes, joins a cluster, and it starts actors which manage the lamp, which detect the switch, and which manage the LEDs. And now basically it's ready, and if I go into emergency mode on any of these guys, then they all start blinking. Happy little bunnies. Beep, beep, beep very robust. So you see that latency is really good. It interrupts this, switches off right away. And they all work the same way. So this could be anything. This is now just a demo of a Morse code signaling. It could be an alarm system. It could be temperature sensors. It could be control of uh, devices in a factory. Um, so far we've been testing this for about three or four days and we've had no no Wi-Fi failures, no issues with stability. This little Wi-Fi network is surprisingly powerful. So there you are. All the source code is on GitHub. Follow the link below, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.